if the Bible does condemn homosexuality, what is the homosexuality it is condemning? Is it the same homosexuality we think of today or not? I'm Reverend Dr. Brent Hawks, uh, retired senior pastor, semi-retired. I'm now the executive director of Rainbow Faith and Freedom. There are some things in Scripture that were condemned that no longer make sense today. Examples, the condemnation of eating shellfish. It's still true that at some times during the year, certain seafoods are poisonous. And in those days, they didn't understand that. They just knew that people were dying. So it was roundly condemned. But today, fundamentalists are not picketing seafood restaurants. Women wearing red. In ancient times, they noticed that women who were wearing clothing that was dyed red were getting ill. Maybe it was the poison in the dye. But fundamentalists aren't condemning women wearing red today. And Jesus and divorce. It's recorded that Jesus condemned divorce. But what was the divorce that he was condemning? A man simply had to say in those days, I divorce you, I divorce you, I divorce you. And he was div divorced. And the wife, or ex-wife, was forced into either poverty or prostitution to be able to make ends meet. And certainly we understand the condemnation of all that. However, many faiths today are recognizing that people should not have to stay in a marriage that's unhealthy and that divorce is an option. Similarly, if the Bible actually did condemn homosexuality, what were they condemning at the time? We know from many of the ancient writings in New Testament times and from Roman literature that the male-to-male -male references were usually referring to pedophilia and not homosexuality. And Plato, in his various debates, when he talked about homosexuality, was clearly condemning pedophilia. Robin Scroggs, in his book, The New Testament and Homosexuality, writes this, we now know that the male homosexuality that Paul knew about, and Paul was one of the writers of the New Testament. So we now know that the male homosexuality that Paul knew about and opposed had to have been one or more forms of pedophilia, Scroggs writes. Now we can certainly understand this because today, uh, when you talk about homosexuality, many people Im immediately go to pedophilia which is, in our minds, crazy because they confuse the two. So join us next time, and we'll begin to take a look at the big eight, the scriptures that are used or misused to condemn homosexuality. And we'll start with the books of Deuteronomy and First and Second Kings. So if you found this video helpful, please share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe or check off the little bell uh, button beside the subscribe button, and you'll get a notice when we post new videos.